Cable and 802.1Q. The InterSwitch Link Protocol is a Cisco proprietary Layer 2 protocol. ISL operates by re-encapsulating host frames as they are received by the switch port. The ISL encapsulation adds a 26-byte header and a 4-byte trailer to the original host frame. The header includes the VLAN ID, VLAN number, and several other fields. The trailer is a new CRC to check the integrity of the ISL frame. There are two significant issues with the ISL. The first is that it is Cisco proprietary, meaning that it will only work between two Cisco devices. In a perfect world, of course, everyone would have all Cisco gear, but the reality is that a lot of non-Cisco network devices are out there. To complicate matters, Cisco has begun to phase out ISL in favor of 802.1Q. For example, the 2960 does not support ISL at all, only 802.1Q. Second issue with ISL is frame size. If a frame is received that is already at the MTU, the addition of the 26-byte header and 4-byte trailer can create frames that are over the Ethernet MTU of 1,518 bytes, with ISL encapsulation now at 1,548 bytes, which will be dropped as giant frames by devices that do not recognize the ISL encapsulation.